Welcome back in time to visit with our friends just down the block on Summit Street. Sarah Neff is here from the Imagination Station. Sarah, good morning. Good morning. So it's starting to get a little dry out, right? Is. Fall is here. I'm so excited. So I thought we'd talk about static electricity. That's when you, you, you get the static buildup when you're walking on the carpet. Yeah. You touch the doorknob and you get shocked. Exactly. Okay. All right, so we're going to kind of break that down and how that works a little bit. So uh, we're going to start out with an activity that you can try at home. So I brought you a balloon. And what I want you to do is I want you to charge up your balloon. So you're going to do that either by rubbing it like on your sleeve or you can try rubbing it on your hair. Okay. And what you're doing is you're actually transferring some charges uh, from yourself into that balloon. Okay. All right. So what we're going to see if we can do is actually move a pop can because right now our pop can is neutral. The charges that are positive and negative in there are kind of dispersed evenly throughout the can. I'm feeling a little tingly. Okay. Am I ready? I think so. Now we know that opposites attract right. and like things repel. Right. Okay. So if you get your balloon close to our pop can, what's going to happen is <laughs> you're actually going to be able to move it. Okay, because those opposite charges are going to attract. So what's happening now, instead of being evenly dispersed through our can, like all of our positives are lining up on one side, all of our negatives are lining up on the other. And then either the positive or the negative is going to be a charge that's attracted to whatever's in your balloon. Very cool. Yeah. And you can stick your balloon to like all kinds of things. You probably stick it to the wall, at your house, on your refrigerator, because those charges are transferring. Okay. Okay. Now. Like I said, that's when you can try at home, but we always like to bring something a little bigger. Right? All right. So up here, I have my Van de Graaff machine, which is an electrostatic generator. All right, we don't need that, so. Um, perfect. Party <laughs> so for later. Our electrostatic generator is actually going to build up a charge. There's a belt inside, and what happens is that belt will begin to rotate, and as it moves, it's coming across a felt um, piece in the bottom. Okay. Every once in a while, it slips, and it causes an extra charge to build up, and then those are going to collect in the dome on top. Interesting. Okay, so I'm going to let you be in charge. And what exactly is this? Um, this is what is going to discharge all of our extra um, charges in there. Okay. That way we don't get zapped. Okay. Okay, so, so it's gotcha. gonna like kind of take the shock for us. Gotcha. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. Okay. So you can kind of, oh, see? You gotta be careful. Ooh, <laughs> you don't you wanna get shocked. too close. All right. All right, so actually, if you bring your scepter up, see, I told you not to point you at it, and then I did it. <laughs> part of our safety experiment prior to this was to say, don't point I at know, this one. I know, and then I did it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't help it, okay? So bring your scepter in a little bit close, okay? And you'll actually see the charges start to jump up to your scepter. Go ahead, a little bit more. So you can hear it, and you might even be able to zoom in and see it. But what's happening is we have about 50,000 volts now transferring between our sphere and our scepter. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this off. Okay. Okay. Now that one inch is about 50,000 volts. So now go ahead and touch up there and go ahead and touch right to the sphere. There you go. And now that kind of neutralizes everything Okay, again. so our charge is now gone. Yeah. But that 50,000 volts, think about when you touch a doorknob and you feel that little zap. Maybe you were only a quarter of an inch away. So you okay. can kind of like do some math and figure that out. Just feels like 12,000 volts going through your body. It's kind of crazy, right? Really? When you yeah. touch the doorknob? Yeah. That's Pretty news. intense. That's news to me. Okay, so now I'm going to put some pie pans up here. Okay. And now we mentioned that opposites attract and like things repel. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and build up a charge in there enough that it will um, kind of create an even charge through all of our pie pans. Okay, okay. you ready? All right, so we'll turn on our belt again. And now we've got all of those charges. They're strong well, enough, they actually, go. to overcome gravity. Okay, so go ahead and discharge it again. Okay, now it's neutral. Let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, so my big finale is I have a pan full of Rice Krispies. Okay. Now, do you think these are going to be opposites, or do you think they're going to be the same? I think they're going to be opposites. Okay, well, let's see. So we're going to put those up there. All right, let's turn our machine on one more time. Let's get our charges going. <laughs> and you can see they're actually they Wonderful. the same charge that is so strong that it actually repels them away from each other. <laughs> I wouldn't eat those. <laughs> Remember, this is science. Chris. I had to try. I'm a kid at heart. All right. Okay, so let's turn this off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can discharge it so we don't get a shock. Perfect. Okay. All right, Sarah, you guys are cleaning up at the Imagination Station right now, so you're closed for this week. Yes, we'll reopen on Tuesday, though. Okay.
Sounds good. With little scientist workshops? Yep, those are starting next week. We're going to have creepy crawly bugs as our first theme, so you can still call in and learn about those. Perfect. Sarah, okay. thank you so much. You're Appreciate welcome. Appreciate that. Up next.